Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, Dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, health of the sick, pray for us. Saint Joseph, pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, pray for us. San Roque, pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, pray for us. San Pedro Calungsod, pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, today we receive God's word to grant us healing and recovery. In this Mass also, we particularly pray for all teachers in the world as we commemorate today World Teachers Day, may they become also instruments of recovery in our time. To prepare ourselves to celebrate this Eucharist, let us first acknowledge our sins and humbly ask the Lord for His pardon and mercy. Lord Jesus, you heal the sick. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgave sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you gave yourself to heal us and bring us strength. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O 
Almighty, ever-living God, who in the abundance of your kindness surpass the merits and the desires of those who entreat you, pour out your mercy upon us to pardon what conscience dreads and to give what prayer does not dare to ask. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the book of the prophet Jonah. The word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Set out for the great city of Nineveh and announce to it the message that I will tell you. So Jonah made ready and went to Nineveh according to the Lord's bidding. Now Nineveh was an enormously large city. It took three days to go through it. Jonah began his journey through the city and had gone but a single day's walk, announcing, Forty days more, and Nineveh shall be destroyed. When the people of Nineveh believe God, they proclaim a fast, and all of them, great and small, put on sackcloth. When the news reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, laid aside his robe, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat in the ashes. Then he had this proclaimed throughout Nineveh by decree of the king and his nobles. Neither man nor beast, neither cattle nor sheep, shall taste anything. They shall not eat, nor shall they drink water. Man and beast shall be covered with sackcloth and call loudly to God. Every man shall turn from his evil way and from the violence he has in hand. Who knows? God may relent and forgive and withhold his blazing wrath so that we shall not perish. When God saw by their actions how they turned from their evil way, he repented of the evil that he had threatened to do to them. He did not carry it out. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Out of the depths, I cry to you, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let your ears be attentive to my voice in supplication. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, Lord, who can stand? But with you is forgiveness that you may be revered. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Let Israel wait for the Lord, for with the Lord is kindness, and with him is plenteous redemption, and he will redeem Israel from all their iniquities. If you, O Lord, mark iniquities, who can stand? Please all stand. joy to my heart, your teaching is light to my eyes. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be 
with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus entered a village where a woman whose name was Martha welcomed him. She had a sister named Mary who sat beside the Lord at his feet, listening to him speak. Martha, burdened with much serving, came to him and said, Lord, do you not care that my sister has left me by myself to do the serving? Tell her to help me. The Lord said to her in reply, Martha, Martha, you are anxious and worried about many things. There is need of only one thing. Mary has chosen the better part, and it will not be taken from her. Brothers and sisters, the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, today we commemorate World Teachers Day. Ibig sabihin ko, hindi lamang ko dito sa ating bansa, kundi ito po ay pandaigdigan. Inaalala po natin ngayong araw ang mga guro. And for this year's World Teachers Day, the theme is about the teacher being at the heart of education recovery in our time. This means that the teacher is an important part so that we could already recover education. We know that for the past one and a half years, students have been only learning through online. And this is not the perfect way of learning for students. Marami po ang nahihirapan sa online education. Marami po ang nahihirapang matuto at marami ang nawawala sa mga estudyante nang hindi pumapasok sa eskwelahan. That is why it is important for us to have already recovery, education recovery. And my dear brothers and sisters, teachers are truly instruments of recovery and healing. Even the words of teachers can become instruments of recovery. In our readings today, we see that God's Word help people recover. Ang salita ng Diyos ay tinutulungan tayong makabangon muli. Alam po natin ngayong panahon ng pandemic, marami sa atin gusto na muling makabangon. At ang mga salita ng Diyos ay tutulungan tayong makabangon muli. Our first reading today from the book of the prophet Jonah tells us how the prophet Jonah became an instrument of God's word so that he could preach the word of God to Nineveh. And upon preaching the word of God to the Ninevites, all the people of Nineveh became aware and they recovered their goodness. Ang mga tao sa Nineveh ay namumuhay sa kasalanan. Pero dahil narinig nila ang salita ng Diyos sa pamamagitan ni Propeta Honas, nagising sila at napanumbalik ang kanilang pagmamahal sa Diyos. The Word of God preached by Jonah 
became an instrument to help the people of Nineveh recover. In our gospel passage today, we hear the story of Martha and Mary. Martha was tired and anxious. Mainit ang ulo ni Martha sa ating ebanghelyo ngayong araw na ito. Kung titingnan natin, si Martha ay pagod dahil mainit ang ulo at bising-bisi sa kanyang ginagawa. Pero pinakita sa atin ni Jesus saan ang daan ng recovery. Si Maria na kapatid ni Martha ay umupo sa paanan ni Jesus na kinig muna sa salita ni Kristo. That is the way of recovery by listening to God's Word. God's Word truly helps us to recover and to heal. Mga minamahal na kapatid, ngayong araw na ito, sana po ay hayaan nating gamitin din ng Diyos ang ating boses nang sa gayon, ang ating mga salita ay maging instrumento rin ng salita ng Diyos para makatulong sa mga taong makabangon muli. Let us allow God to use our voice so that we could help also other people to recover. Naaalala ko po ang aking guro ngayong araw na ito. Mayroong akong isang teacher na hinding-hindi makakalimutan. Siguro po kayo rin, mayroon din kayong isang teacher na hindi ninyo makakalimutan. I was in grade 5 when I was in elementary. Ang activity namin noon, sasabihin mo, ano ang gusto mong maging paglaki mo? When I was in grade 5, it was the first time that I told my classmates, I want to become a priest. Alam nyo, maraming hindi naniwala sa akin. No? <laughs> hindi ko alam kung bakit. Baka hindi ako mabait ng grade 5 ako. No? Pero maraming mga ibang tao na hindi agad naniwala sa akin. Parang natawa lang yung iba. At yung iba ay parang hindi naman gusto talaga na ako ay magpari. Pero hindi ko makakalimutan yung aking advisor noong grade 5 ako dahil siya ang nagsabi sa akin, mabuti yan, ipagpatuloy mo yan. Yun lang, maliit na salita. Pero yung kanyang sinabi ay tumulong sa akin para bumangon at ipagpatuloy ang nais ko sa sarili ko. At simula noong grade 5 ako hanggang ngayon, no, tingin ko naman nagbunga ang kanyang sinabi. Words can truly help us recover. I hope today, our dear teachers, also who are watching us online, please use your words to help people recover, especially in this time of pandemic. My dear brothers and sisters, God's Word help us to recover. May we allow our voice to be used by God so that we could also inspire and bring recovery to people's lives. Amen. Please stand. As Martha and Mary discovered, the kindness and love of God is revealed in Jesus in our midst. Let us pray to the God who is here, the God who listens, and the God who speaks to us, His words of healing and recovery. For every petition, let us say, 
Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church all over the world may offer a welcoming home to our least brothers and sisters, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who are preoccupied with the fleeting distractions of life may come to appreciate the value of listening more attentively to God's Word, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That like Mary, we may choose the better part and welcome Jesus into our hearts and lives, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick and the dying may look to Christ in their sufferings, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. As we observe today Teacher's Day, let us pray for all teachers that they may be given the wisdom and strength that they need to do their mission of forming and guiding their students, especially the young people, and that they may be given the benefits and appreciation that they deserve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may dwell in the Lord's house forever. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. God, our Father, you have sent your Son, Jesus, to show us the way to eternal life. May we always welcome him into our lives and have a place for him in our hearts. We make our prayer through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Accept, O Lord, we pray, the sacrifices instituted by your commands and through the sacred mysteries which we celebrate with dutiful service, graciously complete the sanctifying work by which you are pleased to redeem us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him with great goodness you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 
Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. Please all kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed, and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him, and with Him, and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say.
Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us now offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but, but only say the word, and, and my soul shall be healed. Brothers and sisters, the body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the Most Holy Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Sing that song 
Let us pray. Grant us, Almighty God, that we may be refreshed and nourished by the sacrament which we have received, so as to be transformed into what we consume. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless all of you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God.
Thank you.